In the last few episodes, I've been wishing and wishing with all my heart to fly with dragons in a land apart. And we did, as we fought our way through all the events here in the Village of Dragons. We caught uh, Festus here, who is the tyrant Pokemon of this town. Pretty awesome, look at that grass and dragon. So Festus, it's a reference to Percy Jackson, if you remember last episode. And, uh, well, basically we have completed everything that there is to complete here in the Village of Dragons, except step all over their pink flowers. Because, you know, dragon trainers, they always have, like, the manliest pink flowers, the, what are they, carnations? I think that's what they're called. So now we can head on to this new route, and hey, look, it's Percy Jackson. What's up, buddy? Saw, I mean, are you fulfilling the prophecies like a good little demigod? Probably are, because you're pretty awesome. Oh, snap. Holy snap. Man, Sableye, you need to go away, because that was... That was pretty dangerous right there. I felt the danger in the air. So yeah, Percy Jackson is a great book series. So is Harry Potter. So is, uh... What else is a good book series? Series of Unfortunate Events. I really love that book series as well. And speaking of books, I actually heard a rumor that Barnes & Noble is going out of business, but that was actually a misinformed rumor. It's not going out of business. So, anyway, when I thought the rumor was still true, I actually went onto their website and bought a whole bunch of books. I actually got four books, because I had gift cards and I didn't want them to go to waste. Because, you know, if Barnes & Noble is actually going out of business, the gift cards would become useless, and that's just like throwing away money. And, you know, I don't want to do that. Alright, so there's TM23. What is that? Let me look here. Hopefully it won't disappear like all of my other TMs did. Looks like it's Iron Tail, so yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty nice. I approve. So anyway, back to my story. I was, I bought four books, and I know that's an exciting story. I purchased books online. That's what makes it cool, the online part. But anyway, yeah, I got some books, and I've repeated that phrase about three times now. But I just want to emphasize it that I got books. So here's Howie. Uh, I'm not gonna fight him with Polaris here. So yeah, the books, I don't, I'm gonna try to remember their names while I'm fighting battles and recording and talking at the same time, so I probably won't be able to. One was Pivot Point, and it actually looks pretty interesting. It was about like a girl who could see both possible outcomes of every decision she had to make, and it's something like her parents get divorced, and she can see both outcomes, and she has to choose which parent to live with, and I don't know, it just sounded sort of interesting. Uh, what was the other one? I got the, the first in the Maze Runner series, because I've heard a lot of people like that one, and I think it's actually being made into a movie, or is going to be a movie, that's going to be released in, like, September or something, so I thought, why not read it? Hop on the bandwagon, the book bandwagon, like I did for Divergent. I'm actually reading the Divergent series just because the movie was coming out and my sister has gotten all into it. So I'm uh, like a third of the way through the second book in that in the Divergent series. And it's not really like grabbing my attention as much as some other book series have. I mean, it's a good series, don't get me wrong. So I'd encourage you to read it if you like dystopian fiction. But personally, it's not one of my favorites. Just the romance part isn't really my favorite, even though I do like some sort of romance stories. And TM16, what is that? Uh, let's see here. That is light screen. That actually might be useful, because I am pretty underleveled, although I... Ooh, you can find Houndoom here? Oh, that is cool. That is cool. I might actually see if I can catch this thing. So anyway... Basically, this episode has been like book club with a few mentions of Pokemon. So basically, um, back to my story, what I was saying. The other books, I mentioned two of them. What is the other one? I got 13 Reasons Why. I believe that's what it's called. It was about like a, it's about like a girl who, shoot, now I have to think of a nickname. I will be right back. Alright, so there's her nickname. It's another Percy Jackson reference, Mrs. O'Leary, if you know the Hellhound from Percy Jackson. 
Man, I'm making so many references to Percy Jackson, so I hope you all have read at least one of the books, or at least have a vague idea of what I'm talking about here. Oh, uh, that would have... Mighty Anna would have even better been a Mrs. O'Leary, but I don't like Mighty Anna as much as Houndoom. Houndoom is one of my favorite Pokemon. So yeah, back to my story for like the umpteenth time after I've been interrupted by myself. And it's sort of a skill to interrupt yourself. Actually, I lied, it's not a skill. It's actually pretty easy to interrupt yourself if you're a person like me. See, I'm doing it right now, effortlessly. So anyway, 13 Reasons Why, it's about a girl who committed suicide, I think, and it's about some guy learning... I mean, watching the videotape she left behind, explaining the 13 reasons why she committed suicide, and he's one of them. At least that's what I got from the teaser that I read. So yeah, it sounds pretty interesting. I've heard about it before, and I think it's a rather intriguing uh, premise. So I want to check it out. It sounds sort of like a depressing book, though. And, oh, Sharpedo. I've always wondered, like, what is the back of a Sharpedo? What does it look like? Because in the... I've never seen it in the anime, and it looks... It's just so weird. Is it like a torpedo? Does it even have a backside? Does it have a back fin? Or... I don't know, because you never see its back fin in its sprites at all. And I think I'm going the wrong way. And the last one, I'm not going to be able to think of it. Actually... Actually, I lied. I am able to think of it. It was like Elnor and Park. And it's sort of like a... I think it's a romance-ish kind of book. Well, not... I'm not really sure how to describe it. You just have to go look up, like, the teaser of it. Because I don't remember. Just look up Eleanor and Park. And that's the word and. A-N-D. Oh, there's an item up there. We have got that yet. It's a revive! It's funny, because it's spelled sort of like revive. But it's revive. So, Johnny, you've got a crowd on. And I don't think I've mentioned this yet with all my blabbering about books. Uh, I did level up my team quite a bit. And there is a new member, you might have noticed. Titus down there. The Tyranitar. It's pretty awesome. Took a while to level him up. I have put uh, Swallow Swift back in the PC. Probably permanently off the team. Feels... I, I'm, it makes me feel bad to say that, that he's permanently off the team, but that's probably the truth. I'll, pro I'll probably use him to fly places, but other than that, he sort of lost his potential. Because Swellow is one of those Pokemon that I really love, don't get me wrong. I don't have anything against Swellow. It's actually one of my favorite Pokemon, just because of the memories and stuff. And it is actually really good when you get that guts and status condition problem, plus stab facade. It is really, really good, but it just slacks in the late game because basically all it can learn is, uh, like, especially in Generation 3, it can only learn, like, normal and flying moves, and that's basically it. It can learn, like, Steel Wing, that's the only Steel type move it can learn. So, yeah, it becomes sort of difficult to use. And, let's see. This is sort of a confusing place. I am not sure if I'm going the right way. I'm sort of winding all around here. So, there's a PP Max. Aw, oh, you know those PP Maxes. Man, Max is a celebrity. So here's Norton Antivirus. Maybe he can, uh, if I beat him, he can renew my... Whatever, my subscription. No, you don't subscribe to Norton Antivirus. I don't even know what the term is, but it ran out apparently. My free trial ran out, so now I just have Microsoft Security Essentials, which I don't know if that's good or bad. It's probably more on the bad side because uh, probably someone can hack past Microsoft Security Essentials. And wow, Surf killed it. <laughs> or did I? Oh, snap, Surf did kill it. Man, Doge, the power! You've got the power! You ain't afraid to show it! Alright, so it's Flamethrower, the Sable Eye. Need that thing out of the way! His eyes shine bright like diamonds. Shine bright like a diamond! Whoa, whoa! I don't even know what, who that song is by. Uh, Confession Night. Even though it's not night, it's like... Almost... It's like 6pm. That's not night in my book. 
Some people say it's like evening or night, but I don't think of it as night until it's like 8. I guess that's my weird internal clock for you. And speaking of internal clocks, this has nothing to do with clocks, but today is actually like the first full day of spring, which is pretty cool. And did I battle you? I did not battle you. And I need to switch someone out to the front that is not a uh, Volkswagen because he's run out of he's run out of brick breaks here. So I guess I'll try out Titus. I haven't ever used a Tyranitar in a third generation game before, even a hack. So I'm pretty excited about this, although he might be a little bit overpowered, but seriously, look at the levels of the Pokemon on this route. They're pretty overleveled themselves. Alright, so there you go, you are down, and nice. Alright, so how much further do we have to go? I sort of want to end this episode off because I'm getting up there in the time limit, but then again, I don't know how close I am to the new city. I really need another repel. And I said I was going to switch you out of the front, but I did not. When there's wild shift trees. There are a lot of interesting wild Pokemon around here. So, do I have to go this way? It looks like I do. Oh, Darkness Creek? Actually, we're entering a new area, so this is the perfect place to stop. Next time, guys, we're going to be heading into Darkness Creek, where it is rainy and dark and ominous. So, I will see you all next time. <laughs>